Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this video gallery for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now I'll split this video into two parts where in the first video we will design everything and in the next video I'll show you how to add the functionality where when you click on any of these thumbnails, the video should be displayed over here and uh, the user should be able to use the seek bar and play and pause the video, mute the video and all those things. And uh, we'll also add a close button where we can close the video and go to the next video. So in this video, we'll just create the design and this is also responsive. So I'll just show you the responsive version. So when we have a width of somewhere around here, we can see that it has a full width of 100%. And when we make the width of the screen even smaller, we can see we have a different layout. We can see all the videos are one below the other. So let's get started. Right, so here I opened up this folder called video gallery in VS code and uh, here we can see we have two folders over here. There's a folder called videos in which we have all these videos and we'll be using this in our design. And then we also have a folder called images and in that we have all these images which we are going to use in our design. So these are all the thumbnails. So I just took a screenshot from the videos and uh, I'm using this as the thumbnail. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So I'll just click on new file and here we'll just create a file called index.html and we'll just create one more file for the CSS. So we'll just type style.css and we also need a JavaScript file. So I'll just create a new file and we'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Now let's link the CSS file, so I'll just type link and here in the href I'll just type style.css and we'll also link our JavaScript file over here, so I'll just type script and in the src we'll just type main.js. Alright, let's start by creating a division with the class of video gallery. And in this we will have two sections, one for the featured video. So this is the featured video and then we have all the other videos over here. So here we'll create a division with the class of featured video. And in this we need to have a heading called featured video. So I'll just create an H2 and we'll just type featured video. And then we need to have the image. So I'll just type IMG and here I'll just type images slash and we'll just add thumbnail 3 over here. And we also need to add the title. So here we can see we have this title over here. So let's create an S3 for that. So I'll just type S3 and here I'll just type the title. All right now let's also add this play icon over here. So let's create an IMG tag and I'll just type images slash and we have this image called play icon dot PNG. All right that's it with the featured video. Now let's create another division and we'll give it a class of related videos. And in this section we need to have three videos. So we'll create a division with the class of video card to hold each of these videos and we'll also create a division called video card over here as well. So here in the featured video I'll just create a division with the class of video card and I'll just end the division over here. Now in the related videos also we need to have the same structure so I'll just copy this uh, video card from here and I'll just paste it over here and I'll just paste it two more times. So we have three videos over here and let me just go ahead and change all these uh, thumbnails and titles and we also need to remove this H2 from here which is featured video. So let's remove the H2 from all these video cards. Right now let's change these thumbnails. So here I'll just type thumbnail 1 and this one is thumbnail 2 and then the last one is thumbnail 4 and I'll also quickly change the titles. Right, so I have changed the titles and the thumbnails of all these videos. Now let's open this in our browser. So here I have this extension called Live Server. And you can just search for Live Server over here and uh, just install it on VS Code. And once you're done that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see our website is being displayed over here. We have the title, we have the images and everything is uh, being displayed over here. Now let's style this using CSS. So 
here we can see we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to our style.css and let's start styling this page. Now let's start by changing the font family. So I'll just type body and I will set the font family to railway. And now let's target the division with the class of video gallery. So here we can see we have this division with the class of video gallery. And in that we have all the elements. So let's target that. So I'll just type video gallery. And we will set the width to 600 pixels and we'll also set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and for left and right 32 pixels and we'll also set margin of 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it'll be in the center and we'll also set the box sizing to border box now when you set the box sizing to border box it'll be easier for you to calculate the width and the height of the element so it is a good idea to add box sizing border box to your container division now let's target all the images inside our video gallery. So I'll just have video gallery IMG and we'll set the width to 100% of the parent. And now we can see that we have the correct width for our images. Now let's target this H2 over here. So let's go back to our index.html file and here we can see we have this H2 and this H2 should be actually outside this video card division. So I'll just bring it out. Right now let's start styling this so let's go back to our style or css and here we'll just type video gallery h2 and we'll set the font size to 40 pixels and we'll set the font weight to 800 and uh, the margin to 0 and we'll set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and uh, 0 for left and right and we'll also set the color of the text to 303030 and now let's position this play icon inside this thumbnail. So we have to set the position of this play icon relative to this uh, video card over here. So I'll just target video gallery and uh, featured video and video card. And uh, this is the video card division. So we'll set the position of this video card to relative. So I'll just type position and we'll set it to relative. Now we can position the play icon relative to the video card. So here I just type video gallery, featured video, video card and here we need to target this image right here. So if you go back to our HTML we can see that there are two images over here. One is the thumbnail and the other is the play icon. So we will add a class over here inside the IMG so that we can target it in our CSS. So I'll just type class and we'll set it to play icon. We will add the same class to all the play icons. So I'll just copy this and uh, here we have the play icon so I'll just paste it over here and here we have the play icon and also here we have the play icon All right so let's go back to our CSS and here we'll type play icon and first of all let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the top position to 50% of the video card and the left position to 50% of the video card and we'll also set the width of the play icon to 60 pixels and now we can see that it starts from the center of this video card. So we have to move it 50% of the element to the left and to the top. So for that we have to type transform, translate and we have to set it to negative 50% and negative 50% for the x and the y axis. Right now we can see that it is exactly in the center of this video card. Right now let's style the S3 which is the title of our video. So here we'll just type video gallery featured video video card s3 and we'll set the position of the s3 to absolute as well and uh, we will set the bottom position to zero and uh, the left position to zero and the right position to zero so that we will have 100 percent width and uh, let's also give it a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right let me just add a background color and see how it looks and we also need to remove the margin so I'll just type margin 0 alright now let's give it a background color of linear gradient so I'll just type linear gradient over here and uh, we will set it to 0 degrees and uh, the first color will be black color so I'll just type hash 0 0 0 and it will start from 0 percent and the next color we need to have is also black so I'll just type 0 0 0 and we will have this color till uh, 33 percent and the last color we need to have is a color with an opacity so I'll just type RGBA A is for the opacity so I'll just type 000 
and for the opacity we'll just type 0 and here for the last color we'll just type 100% and now here you can see we have this linear gradient where it starts from black over here and then goes to an opacity of 0 alright now we'll set the color of the S3 to white so I'll just type color FFF alright now let's style the related videos so here I'll just type video gallery related videos and we'll set the display to flex so that all the elements will be one next to the other and we'll also give it a gap of 8 pixels and let's give it a margin top of 24 pixels now let's position display icons on top of these thumbnails over here so let's go back to the index.html file and here we can see inside the related videos we have this video card and in that we have the image and then we have the S3 and then we also have this play icon now if you set the position of this play icon to the center of the video card then it will be somewhere around here in between the thumbnail and the title so we'll create a new division with the class of thumbnail and in this we will add the thumbnail and the play icon I'll do the same with the remaining two thumbnails So I have made changes to all the thumbnails and uh, let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's start styling it. First of all, we will set the position of the thumbnail to relative. So I'll just type video gallery, related videos, thumbnail and we'll set the position to relative. And now let's type video gallery, related videos, thumbnail and we'll type play icon. And let's set the position to absolute and uh, we will set the top position to 50% and uh, the left position to 50% and we will set the width to 40 pixels and we will also transform translate to negative 50% alright now it is in the center of the thumbnail now let's style this S3 so let's type video gallery related videos video card S3 and uh, let's set a padding of 0 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and we'll also set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll set the line height to 1.5 and here in our design we can see that we have this linear gradient background color so let's go to a website and let's generate that color so you can go to this website called cssgradient.io and then go to backgrounds so here we can see there are a lot of different color generators now let's scroll down and let's go to color hue and let's find a color from here so I think this looks almost the same as the color that we want so I'll just copy this and let's go back to our CSS and let's create a new selector over here so I'll just have video gallery related videos and video card and I'll just paste it over here and now here you can see we have this background color alright now let's set the color of this S3 to white and I think we need to have a bit more darker color so I'll just change the colors over here right that looks alright alright now let's target all the video card divisions so I'll just type video card and we'll set a border radius of 8 pixels and we'll set the overflow to hidden and now we can see that all our video cards have this border radius and we'll also give it a box shadow and we'll set it to 0, 4 pixels, 16 pixels negative 6 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's also set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have this pointer alright we are pretty much done with the design now let's add the responsiveness so let's type at media and uh, here we will type max width of 700 pixels so now when the width of the screen is less than 700 pixels whatever styles we have over here will be added so let's set the width of the video gallery so I'll just type video gallery and I'll set it to 100% and we'll also set a padding of 0 pixels top and bottom and uh, for left and right we will have 16 pixels right now let's reduce the width and here we can see we have 100% width when we are less than 700 pixels and uh, now when we are less than 550 pixels we will add a different styling so here we'll just type at media and max width of 550 pixels and here we need to set all the related videos one below the other so for that we have to type video gallery related videos 
and we'll set the flex direction to column and now we can see all the videos are one below the other we'll also add some margin between these video cards so let's type video gallery related videos video card and let's give it a margin of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and the last thing we will do is we'll also add a title over here called related videos so let's go back to our index.html file and here before the related videos let's create an h2 and we'll give it a class of related videos title and here I'll just type related videos and let's style it so here we'll just type video gallery and we'll type h2 dot related videos title and we'll set a margin top of 32 pixels and we'll also remove the margin top from uh, this uh, related videos so here I'll just type margin top of 0 right now it looks fine now when you're on a larger screen we don't want to display this heading so let's scroll up and here we'll just type video gallery h2 dot related videos title and we'll set the display to none and let's scroll down and here we'll set the display to block so here we can see we don't have the title being displayed and when we are on a smaller screen we have the title being displayed so everything looks all right so that's basically it with the design of our video gallery now in the next part I'll show you how to add videos and when you click on these thumbnails we need to display the videos and we'll also add a close button and when you click on the close button the video will be closed so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day